Hi everyone, it's Renee Yvonne with CompoundPharmacyMarketing.com and today is Wonderful Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday is the day when I give you one marketing tip to help you grow your compound pharmacy. Today's marketing tip is actually a question from one of my blog readers in North Carolina. And the question is, how often or how many doctors should my pharmacy rep see when they go out? And the second question is, is it okay to contact doctors by phone? So I'm going to answer the first question, which is how many doctors should they be seeing? How often should they be going out? Ideally, it would be great if they can go out Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. These are the least busiest days for doctors and probably for your pharmacy as well. Mondays are usually busy because the doctor's offices are closed over the weekend and people get sick and they come rushing in on Monday and Friday they're trying to close things off and shut down for the weekend. So the middle of the week is usually the best time. Now face-to-face -face meetings, if they're getting three to four face-to-face -face meetings on each of those days, they are doing excellent. Because you have to remember, it takes time to get to each of the doctors. They probably have to wait to see doctors in the offices because it's not like when you schedule at 2 o'clock that the doctor actually shows up at 2 o'clock. I hate to tell you that, but 2.45 might be you know pretty regular. So they have to wait for the doctor. They have to get over there, and then they have to actually meet with them. So Think about how long it takes to do all of that. If they're seeing three to four a day face-to-face, -face, they're doing great. Now, in order to see those three or four a day, they may have to actually visit eight to ten doctor's offices to set those appointments to see those three or four a day. So don't make a wild assumption that if they're not seeing a lot of doctors at, uh, per day that they're not doing their job. That's probably not true. They are probably spending time getting from one office to the other and waiting in offices to actually see a physician. And the second question was, is it okay to call doctor's offices? Yeah, but let me, t <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. It's not like it's illegal or anything, but <laughs> here's the thing. It's really easy to hang up on you over the phone. They don't know you. You're not in their face. So I don't actually encourage it for setting up appointments. Where I do encourage speaking on the phone is with you, the pharmacist. When the doctor calls in a prescription, this is your opportunity to talk to them about alternatives for comp for traditional medicine by using a compounded medication. So you have an opportunity to talk to them. You're past the gatekeeper, you're past the office manager, you don't have to buy a lunch, speak to them then. So this is where I encourage the use of the phone for speaking to doctors, not so much to set the appointments to go over and meet the doctors. Those, I think, should pretty much be done face-to-face. -face. That's just my opinion, but try it out and see if it works for you. If it does, then it works. But I think it's a lot easier to hang up on people on the phone and to not make appointments. So that is my marketing tip for today. If you like tips like these or you want to learn more about marketing your pharmacy, I'm going to ask you to sign up at the link below to download some of my free stuff and to get involved with the Fillmore Compounds Happy Hour or to get involved in my LinkedIn group where you can ask questions and talk with other marketers like yourself. So I'd love to see you next week right here on a Wonderful Wednesday. And in the meantime, have a wonderful Wednesday. I'm Renee Yvonne with CompoundPharmacyMarketing.com. Bye.